shave a certain way and I still shave I'd like to get into a space where I just remove all my hair entirely so it's not a job so to have this discussion with me we've got uh, Liesl and uh, she's from Skin Renewal South Africa she's our expert today who will touch on skin and hair care uh, she is a senior therapist at skin and, and at this particular skin and hair care company and I couldn't notice but how clean you look, Liesl. You look like an angel. Like you're just beaming and glowing this oh, morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well, thanks. And yourself? I am amazing. Thank you so much for Good. taking the time to join us in studio of course. and to have this conversation. Liesl, let me jump straight into it. There, there are a lot of women who are hairy and unhappy with it, right? But why is this seen as a taboo? I mean, we received a comment on social media where a guy was saying, look, I get it, sideburns, I get mastarses, um, and, and, and I love it. But sometimes I just don't get why women can't just remove their hair. Look, I think from personal experience over the years and women coming to me for treatment for hair removal, I don't think it's as much as a taboo as a trend that people are following, hmm. set by Hollywood and things like that. Um, also, it's a personal preference. Some hmm. women are relaxed and happy with letting everything grow. And some women, women like the cleanliness of it or, you know, being shaved and being what they see as clean. Um, it really it comes down to personal preference. Absolutely. And that's what it should be. Lisa, I couldn't agree more. What are the available options to get rid of my hair let's say um let's go with the down below and i say that because a lot of women shave that area um in a wrong direction apparently mm. and that's what causes the irritation and the ingrown hairs especially on the side we mm. want to we want to have i want to you know post pictures with high raised you know uh, bikinis but i can't because i'm this person who has ingrown hairs on the yes. sides yes. how do i Go with that. What's the best option? The best is always to shave in the direction of hair growth. That will always help to minimize. And which is? Um, you'll see which way your hair grows. Okay. Sometimes it will be down, sometimes up. It really is according to everyone personally. Mm. There isn't a set direction of growth for every person. So you have to examine your hair and look at which direction your hair grows and mm. shave to in that direction. Mm. It's always best to use a medium as well when shaving, like a soap or shaving cream, because that will also help to protect the skin and lessen irritation. Hmm. Um, if you're looking at something that's going to help to prevent ingrowns and things, you're going to have to look at more permanent solutions like your laser hair removal, which uh -huh. will definitely help to minimize ingrown hairs and be a more permanent form of um, hair removal. You're talking about laser and a more permanent form of hair removal. How much does something like this go for? I, I'm used to my shaver, my soap, uh, my whatever product, yes. but this is an option I want to take. How much are we roughly looking at? Look, it's very difficult because you are looking at the size of areas mm. and the time spent, but I think if you take it over years with products spent on ingrown hairs, um, razors you buy, replacing blades, because those are also quite expensive, mm. and you can Compared to the cost of laser hair removal, um, you're definitely going to come out better with the laser hair removal side than what you will with the disposables of shaving. Liesl, moving over to the final question, because I know that you've got uh, ladies to attend to, <laughs> as well as men, right? Yes, of course, definitely. Okay, so how do I take care of my ingrown hairs and, and other related embarrassing situations like ingrown hairs? Or um, maybe I've got a massage and I embrace it but also because of social pressures it needs to go um, or maybe sideburns or maybe um, hairs in between my breasts mm. or hair on my back how do i go about that and what advice would you give to per a person who feels ashamed and embarrassed about these areas that could be helped with uh, look, the best way is always to look after the skin as well where the hair is growing mm. because if the skin is looked after, the hair will grow much better or healthier. You won't get such bad ingrowns in that area. It won't cause bumps in the area mm. that can lead to pigmentation and all sorts of, like you say, embarrassing situations. Mm. Um, like I say, again, the best way of removing it is if you go something like tweezing and waxing is always an option, but you do then have to risk off the ingrown hairs that comes with it. So once again, laser hair removal is one of your better <laughs> options to go to, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's a bit more long term. Look, it's not permanent hair removal. You'll always get permanent reduction. Mm. 
but I've done hair removal nine years ago, and since then I haven't had an ingrown hair. Like I'm looking at so, you. <laughs> <laughs> you are squeaky clean. Right, thank you. My <laughs> gosh. All right. In studio, we uh, just had a conversation with Liesl from Skin Renewal South Africa. She is and was our expert for today, talking all things skin and hair. Any advice that you have in terms of hair and skin care um, that you'd like to give to young ladies and gents, especially the gents who are looking into grooming themselves a lot more um, and that's a trend that we've seen lately Look, the best thing is always I believe in moisturize I think moisturizing hair moisturizing skin that will always go a long way into a healthy looking skin a healthy hair um, sunblock very important mm. if you have a healthy skin you'll have healthy hair growth so definitely definitely moisturizing and SPF yeah <laughs> Liesl, thank you so much for joining us in studio of course the the conversation continues on social media I love how gents are coming in and talking about this we'll break it down and also the ladies chat to us with regards to um, your hair, your body hair, um, how that's been going. Are you embarrassed? Are you ashamed of uh, particular hair growth in, uh, on your body?